Hey what's up guys welcome back in this video we'll build a AR video playback project and we will run it inside an Android smartphone or an iPhone. So for building this project I'll click on file I'll then click on build settings. Now inside the build settings I'll click on add open scenes to add this AR video playback scene inside the build settings. Next as you can see the unity logo is on the Android platform. So I'll basically build this app for my Android platform. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, then you can select the iOS platform and you can build this app for an iPhone or for an iPad. Okay. The detailed procedure for building an augmented reality application for an iPhone is explained in the AR1 section. So if you want, you can refer the AR1 section if you want to build your app for an iOS device. Okay. Next, I'll click on player settings inside player settings. I'll first change the company name. So in place of company name, I'll put my website name that is engineers dream. If you do not have a company or if you do not have a website, then you can just put your own name over here. Next, as you can see, the product name reads Vuforia core samples. So I'll remove this Vuforia core samples name. And I'll type AR video playback. So the AR video playback will be the display name of a project. Okay. Next we have this option of default icon. So I won't be setting any icon. After this, I'll go inside other settings and inside other settings, we have this option of package name. So the package name currently reads com .default company product name. So in place of default company, I'll just write down a website name again. That is engineers dream. And in place of product name, I'll write down AR video playback. Next, as you can see, the minimum API level is selected to Marshmallow. Okay. And since I have a smartphone which runs on Marshmallow, so I'll keep the Marshmallow option selected. I'll leave the target API level to automatic has selected. Okay. And I'll scroll down and let's see if there are any other changes that we need to do. Okay. So I'll click on XR settings and inside XR settings, as you can see, the Vuforia augmented reality support checkbox is basically unchecked. Now, if you remember, then I'd basically checked this Vuforia augmented reality support checkbox in the first video, but when we imported the Vuforia core samples, so during that time, I believe this Vuforia augmented reality support checkbox got unchecked. Okay. So I'll select this checkbox again. After this, I'll click on the build button. I'll give this APK file a name of AR video playback. And after this, I'll click on save. So as you can see, the APK file for my AR video playback project is created. Okay, so next I'll copy this file inside my Android smartphone and let's check the final output. Google Play Store. I'm doing my research. As a trainer, I have conducted major institutes across India. Internet of Things 3D printing augmented reality. The 